40 years ago today, a commuter airplane crashed in Owl's Head, killing 17 passengers and crew members. It remains the deadliest air crash in Maine history. John McCafferty of Searsmont, a teenager at the time, was the lone survivor. His parents were waiting for him at the airport. Today, on the 40th anniversary of an event that ended so many lives and changed his, McCafferty reflected with News Center's Samantha Sugarman. When I think about the whole thing, it just makes me feel sort of sick. John McCafferty says it doesn't feel like 40 years have passed since he survived the deadliest plane crash in the state's history. 40 years ago, I don't remember a lot of things, but obviously the plane crash, I do remember. 17 people died when Downeast Airlines Flight 46 crashed in Owl's Head on May 30th, 1979. 16-year-old McCafferty was the only person who lived. I often think of how precious time is. It makes you realize things could end at any day at any given time. McCafferty asked for me to meet him right here on the waterfront in Belfast instead of in Owl's Head. He believes his most recent visit to the scene of the crash will be his last. People don't understand what it was like to go through something like that if they've never been through it. McCafferty says he often thinks about the victims of the crash, what they would have done in their lifetimes. But 40 years has taught him how to live with survivor's guilt. There was a long time that I just felt that I should have been killed in that plane crash, and I couldn't figure out why I might have lived. And, and there were times that I thought that I shouldn't be alive. Four decades later, his peace of mind has come with time. And when I think about it, I think how fortunate that I am to have 40 years after that crash. It's given him a new sense of purpose. It's a piece of history that I just feel needs to be told. In the form of a book, McCafferty is now writing. Samantha Sugarman, New Center, Maine. And McCafferty is asking for help with his book. He's looking for a writer who may have had a similar near-death experience. We have his contact information on our website. And be sure to watch Bill Green's Maine this Saturday when Bill talks with McCafferty and takes him back to the site where that crash happened. That's Bill Green's Maine, Saturday at 7. That's going to do it for us. Have a good night.